No, we're not in we're not in the same tanks. We we're in like separate rooms. You have to be naked. You don't have to be naked. I'm going to I'm like a bathing suit, so I kind of have to be, right? Like, what if they have a camera and are watching me naked? Well, that's what I like. I wanted you to be in a specific room because I asked yeah. them to put a camera in it so I, I could would, watch I it later. I'm gonna lay there butt naked. <laughs> I don't care. I went in naked. Yeah. I'm just kidding, Ava. There's no cameras. <laughs> this is the only camera. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is gonna happen, Jesse? Uh. I think it's going to turn into a mind game with myself while I sit there uh, reminding myself that it's a temporary sensation that's going to pass. So, I don't know, we'll see. And we'll see if I get like the, the total emptiness state of mind, or if logic prevails. It'll be interesting. Okay. What about you, Anthony? I think I'm just going to think about chicken nuggets. The whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Mm -hmm. I would be so impressed. Better. I'm kidding. I'm gonna be hungry. I'm gonna be hungry. <laughs> Eat something. Yo, I need some chicken nuggets. We need some chicken nuggets. Mm -hmm. We could get some food on the way. What about you, Ava? I don't even really know what it is. Sensory deprivation. You're gonna be in a soundproof, oh. lightproof. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what it's like right there. <laughs> the whole time. She's gonna be thinking about that Ooh. moment the whole time. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, uh, I can't wait to get out and go wreck more people. I'll be you in right. a state of mind to murder. No, you'll actually probably be like better at video games uh, a little bit for like clearly. a couple days. Uh, I'm like a thinker. I feel like I'm just gonna lie there and be like, is this it? It's like, like meditation. It's like I don't do meditation or anything though. Like, I don't even know about it, you know? I'm so excited to see how your guys' experiences yeah. are going to go. Yeah, see, I end up doing the same thing. So meditation for me usually ends up more as contemplation than meditation. As I sit there and think about the mind. That's, that's, what, that's what meditation is. just constant thoughts coming and going. Med well... well it depends to a on, certain it depends extent. On who you ask, because a lot of people would define meditation as like achieving a state of zero thought, where you just try to put everything out of your mind and just sit there and be as empty as possible. I find that really hard to do because I always end up focusing on or thinking about something the whole time. Yeah. So, I'll, I'll get him! Her name was sick. Yeah. Dude, maybe we should leave her here. Right now, guys. You guys are about to get so woke. So woke. So, so woke. Kind of tired. You can yeah. sleep in the day. I'll be woke in about negative thirteen years when I start using slang again. I woke. You What's that? Like woke. Oh. <laughs> this but we just spent like 10 minutes so maybe I can get her lunch. I'm not trying to float and starve. That's right. Smart girl. Are you excited? Oh yeah. What about you Jesse? I'm gonna pass out. Because I've been up since 7 and we're doing this at 2 in the morning. 7 a.m. I've been up since 7 a.m. Like Streamer culture. I have to specify. Okay. Uh, yes. uh, Anthony. Yesterday. Yeah, that's right. This will make you feel real good. Real good. I had a little cat down good today, that's it. I didn't stream today, so I'm pretty <laughs> awake. <laughs> We're here. 
You made it. With your Dorito. <laughs> You're so cute. It's like trippy. It's, a it's called a dream within a dream. Tremere. Tremere. Oh. Oh, look. We can draw something. They have cards. Try but sit down and draw a picture. Oh, they have sewing. I like to do drawings. Oh. Have you seen this at an Alaska? Which Mike one? Myers? Negative. Zen master mode. <laughs> I was like the Zen freaking master. And I was just like, yeah, <laughs> stars. And then like the last like I guess I don't know last 30, 40 minutes I started doing like yoga in the water. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> that's awesome. I passed out. How about you, Jesse? It was like being in a hot tub in the dark. <laughs> in the dark. You're lying. <laughs> Sorry, it's all I got. I, it was like after about 30 minutes, I just felt like I needed to be somewhere doing something and I was wasting time. I've never been the type to sit around relaxing. <laughs> Aww. Maybe next time. I relaxed Maybe. the hell out of my body there. Yeah. Like, I'm a puddle of goo. I fell asleep. I literally, like, <laughs> so it was went by so quick, all of a sudden I heard the music. Really? Yeah. It was, it was nice. I did get out, of, I did get out and shower real quick, but... Um, yeah, I was like, kind of stiff and I had some anxiety, but I felt uh, pretty good the second like time I got into the water. Nice. Felt really nice. But at first, it did take a minute to adjust. You look really nice. Yeah, thanks. You too. <laughs> nice and wet. <laughs> wet hair. First of all, thank you for clicking on my video. I know you didn't have to, but you did. And I appreciate it. So thank you. I wanted to share with you guys my experience with my second time going into the sensory deprivation tank, which is pretty, pretty crazy. So the first time I went into uh, the, the tank, I was in like more of an open tank and um, there was no lid or door or anything. It was just open. This time I went into the egg tank, that's what I'm calling it, the egg tank and uh the door closes over you and it was it was a little intimidating at first because you know get a little claustrophobic feel like you're just like stuck in something but after the first time i doing the 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 float i kind of got this like feeling of not being afraid 
a more courageous set in certain senses where I'm just like, let's do it. Like if something bad happens, then, you know, you learn your lesson. So went into that and this time instead of an hour flow or whatever, it was two hours. So that was a little intimidating as in so that was a little intimidating as well, but I was really excited. I was really excited that Anthony, Ava, and Jesse and James were going to do it as well. So we went 2 a.m. just the whole, like, I think there was one room left while we were there. Nobody was floating but us, I think. There was somebody floating when we got there, but I don't know. Anyways, so showered and jumped in the tank and began my float. Immediately I tried to relax, like like I did the first time. I tried to just like let all tension go and relax my body. Um, I did get a little anxious because of the tank, uh, just because it was closed. I didn't turn off the light this time either, but I floated. I floated, I got really relaxed, and um, kind of thoughts were racing again. Um, this time it was a little bit harder to reach that point of nothingness, I feel. Um, I just kept thinking over and over and over again about stuff. I kept thinking about what the other, my friends were experiencing in their tanks, and um, I did, I did get to the point where I was like, you know, nothing. This is nothing. And again, it kind of freaked me out and um, I kind of woke up from it, opened my eyes and was like, okay, I'm back. So went through the process of trying to reach that again. Um, and then once I started doing that, there was like this theme in my head of fire and ice and I kept seeing like you know mountains and, and fire and I really didn't know what to think of it just kept popping up in my head fire and ice I didn't understand there was like a point where the fire and the ice were mixed somehow I don't know how to explain it I actually did a painting um, unintentionally that kind of depicts it. I'll put it on the screen. It'll be right here. This is what I did. I actually brought it to the... I'm scared. I actually brought it to float on because I just I'm obsessed with floating now it is way better than a massage it, and it's it's just so awesome I love it so much and I'm just gonna continue to do this it's the best um, but I brought it to them and I was like thank you so much and uh, you know here's my painting <laughs> but yeah so, um, but then, you know, you hear stories about people hallucinating, like, visually. Um, I actually hallucinated hearing things. That sounds really creepy, which is even more creepy because something just fell, and I don't know what fell. Um, but I heard, um, music. Music wasn't playing like a symphony and I double checked to see if it was the music to let me know that I'm done but it wasn't I heard music it was strange I don't know how to explain it but that happened I love floating it's relaxing and you guys should do it too so shout out to float on People that are super awesome, you guys should check out their Instagram. I believe they have an Instagram. I'll link it in the description of the video. 
while you're down there, make sure you check out all my friends, um, Anthony, Ava, and Jesse, and James. I'll put all their links down in the description as well. And yeah. And then while you're down there, camera please. While you're down there, make sure you check out all my links, my social media. I got my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Twitch live stream. So check those out. Give them a follow. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2017. Let's make it awesome. Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I don't know. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna go figure out what that noise is. Okay. Don't worry guys. Don't worry. I checked. This is the wind. Blowing the door open. We're okay. We're fine. It scared me. Oh, I was so scared. <laughs> okay, well, thank you again. Watch this video. Bye.